A very good morning and welcome to the Nation TV newspapers review today on Wednesday, March that 2020, being presented to you by Philip Kuma. The newspapers uh, today report on the arrival of the COVID-19 vaccines and the country's preparedness to rule out the vaccination exercise. And also, the dailies have also reported on Jubilee Party's messy divorce with the details of plans to take disciplinary action against Deputy President William Ruto M. Margin. Let's start with the star. President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga are plotting to outshine Deputy President William Ruto in Parliament by ensuring the BBI bill passes anonymously or gets at least two thirds majority in both houses. The two leaders have instructed parliamentary committee leaders to pull out all the possible stops and ensure the bill is overwhelmingly endorsed. This, according to the publication, is aimed at sending a strong message to the DP that his impeachment motion is possible and he should be prepared. Daily Nation Top political leaders in the country have shelled away from taking the COVID-19 vaccine jab in public to build confidence. EOD Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kangu and downplayed the possibility of President Uhuru Kenyatta and his cabinet being vaccinated first and insisting priority will be given to EOD workers. The 1.02 doses of COVID-19 vaccine arrived at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport GKIA on Wednesday, March 3rd at 12.23 a.m. They will be distributed to nine regional centers from where county and some county hospitals will collect them. The standard opposition leader Raila Odinga has cautioned the coast region against plans to form a regional political party. Raila said such a move would erode the gains of progressive democracy and usher in the old regime of regional and tribal parties. The ODM leader Raila Odinga said Kenya currently needs outfits with a national outlook to defeat tribalism and a the city. Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joe and his Kilifi counterpart Amazon Kingi, all belonging to ODM, have been pushing for the formation of a regional party. Joho has also announced plans to vie for the presidency and is likely to face off with Raila in ODM nomination contest. People Daily Jubilee Party is completing to kick out Deputy President William Ruto as the Deputy Party leader and set in motion the process of pitching him. The publication noted senior officials of the ruling party are accusing the DP of gross insubordination, disloyalty to Jubilee Party by way of funding activities of United Democratic Alliance UDA and disrespecting the President. On Monday, March 1st, the ruling party kicked out Ruto's last standing man, Caleb Constant, who was serving as Deputy Secretary General. Taifa Leo, the Swahili publication, reported on the possibility of the country witnessing a series of scandals emanating from distribution of COVID-19 vaccine. The paper expressed fears some powerful individuals who would use their positions to hold the jobs with the hail intention of minting money out of it. It cited, that, it cited what played out at Kenya Medical Supplies Authority Kemsa as one of the reasons why Kenyans should be alert to ensure every job of the vaccine is counted for. And that brings us to the end of our newspaper's reviews today. Have a fruitful day ahead. Bye-bye.